Now that we have our web service record created, we're nearly in a position to start creating resources for our API. But before we do that, let's first of all discuss what is a resource. A resource is some kind of data that you want to expose through your API. It may be a single record, also called an item, but it may be multiple records, millions of records, and these are sometimes called collections. Resources, however, don't have to be based on individual records or an individual record. It could just be a, a way in which you access data from different kinds of tables, depending on what you do in your API. So in other words, the API could combine data from various records and present them as one single resource. In this series, however, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to create a resource that is based on a single table in ServiceNow, our vehicles table. An API will allow operations to be formed against these resources using standard HTTP methods such as get for retrieving records, post for creating records, put and patch for modifying records, and delete for, well, deleting records. In this table here, I've composed the resources that we are going to create in our API and included also the corresponding HTTP methods that we're going to use. So we're not going to complete the entire API in this series, but we will look at each of the main HTTP methods for working with our API. So for creating records in ServiceNow, creating a, a vehicle, uh, we're going to do that via a post using the slash vehicles resource. Uh, we've got two different resources for getting records. One will be an individual vehicle and the other one will be a collection of vehicles. Uh, put and patch we'll discuss in a separate video, so I won't go into the differences here, uh, but we'll just create one patch resource for modifying a record and one delete resource for deleting a record. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and create our very first resources. We'll actually create two get resources, one for getting or retrieving an individual vehicle record and another one for retrieving multiple records in one request.